When the iPhone was released back on June 29th, it became the hottest item for the would-be gadget hacker to crack. It just took two months. Mission accomplished. iPhone owners no longer bound to just the AT&T service that was provided, thanks in part to a kid from New Jersey. Jersey teenager George Hotz joins us live from his hometown of Glen Rock. You broke the code. The question is, why? Well, my friend and I went to the mall on June 29th, and we both bought iPhones, and he had AT&T, so he went home, popped his SIM in, and made some phone calls, and I went home and looked at my T-Mobile SIM and put it in, and it said invalid SIM. So ever since then, I've been trying to make my iPhone work with T-Mobile. You have actually posted some of this information uh, available to just about anybody. You've probably ticked off uh, uh, certainly AT&T, mm, Apple as well. Uh, you know, are you getting calls from people around the world now that are saying congrats, or are they saying, hey, why'd you do this? I mean, there's some of both. There's some of, wow, you're, you're geo-hot, you did such a great job, and there's some of, geo-hot, you're just another kid, I can't even use this unlock, blah, 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 but, I mean, it is what it is. And is it over for you? Are you trying to make money off of this? Well, everything I know about the iPhone, I posted on the blog, and I hope that people will follow my instructions and unlock their iPhone. But I am selling the world's second unlocked iPhone to Terry Diodoni, the founder of Certicel. Well, I don't, I don't know who Terry is. <laughs> I've never heard of Certicel. But he'll be but getting I, I know about the, the world's second unlocked iPhone. I know about the iPhone. Any, any calls from AT&T? Are they upset no. at you? I haven't heard from AT&T or Apple. Okay. So this was, uh, you just wanted to do this because you wanted to keep your service with T-Mobile. I think most people didn't know that you had to have AT&T uh, if you wanted to use this iPhone. Do you think that's just unfair? Well, I mean, it's, it's legal. Whether it's unfair is another question entirely. I mean, if the carriers want to release the phones locked, they can, but it's actually totally legal as of November 2006 for people like me to reverse engineer the phones and unlock them. So. All right, George, 17 years old, uh, up or down. Any, any uh, good job prospects out of this really quickly? Um, Google emailed me, internship next summer. All right, very good. So Thanks a lot. We'll see you. Thanks for joining us, George.